it's August 11th, 2021. We just hiked up this uh, mountain here after spotting some rams this morning. Um, we got in position about two o'clock. The closest we can get is maybe, I think we're about 1,500, 2,000 yards away. Uh, put the spot and scope on them. One of them's definitely legal. We're thinking maybe one of them is brimmed on both sides, but we can't really tell from this distance. So we're gonna have to get a little bit closer. We got two sheep tags. I was really hoping to fill them. We found a band of six rams. Um, as you can see, we got the tent set up. At the Hilleberg Nalo 3GT. My cousin Nick and I, this is his first tag along sheep hunt that he's ever had. First hunt in Alaska, period, so it's a whole treat for him. And uh, we've got the Hilleberg Solo over here, and Clarence is sleeping in that one. Kind of see if I can spin around. And you can kind of see right about there is where the rams are bedded right now. Well, I think they're bedded there. Let me take a look. Looks like they may have moved. All right, so one of them is up. Moving around, the rest are still bedded. Looks like one of them is just barely going to make full curl, but legal. We'll see. We've got to wait for them to make a mistake. We did bring some tieback suits. I was thinking if we got real desperate, because we've only got four days of food, if we get to, to the point to where we're starting to use up a lot of our food, we might make a stock with those type tieback suits. I've never done that before, but I've carried one, one in my pack for the last three years, and I guess this might be the best chance to use one. Hell, if I'm going to carry it, I might as well use it. So, over here, you can see, got my cousin Nick right here, kind of relaxing in the tent. Fixing some blisters on his heels. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what, I think he's sleeping in here. But who knows? We just seen a big grizzly bear about an hour ago, maybe a little longer ago, down in this valley. Really nice grizzly, blonde, had a real dark brown head on it. And or I can't see what I'm pointing at, but way, way back that valley back there. Probably about I'm guessing seven miles is where our base camp is. And that grizzly was headed just that way, so hopefully we've got a base camp to go back to. Clarence cut some and split some wood for us this morning, so Check these guys. Oh yeah. There's two up moving now. I might have to get off here and go watch these rams. Until next time. So we're gonna try to go over and get these rams today. But uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make it or not. They're uh, in a place where they can pretty much see the whole valley. So you can see these sort of <clears throat> little creases. You can see one right over there. We're trying to follow these creases to get above them and maybe move across and get in position. Wait for them to make a mistake. We camped down on that little hill down 
Uh, let's see. Down on that little hill. Yeah. Sun just come out. It rained all night. Poured. But everything's starting to dry out. First uh, sheep hunt Clarence has come on with me. So that's cool. He's an old veteran sheep hunter though. Killed more than I have. And we seen a grizzly. You can see Nick sitting over on that little rock taking a break. He's getting a Alaska sheep hunting introduction. Time will tell if he wants to do this again. We'll see. Well, maybe I'll make a video when we get a little closer. Going down this rock slide. Can I show you where we're headed? Try to get up in that valley. So, this is what it is. Take what it gives us. We found ourselves on a rock side here. Trying to keep these rams from seeing us. Well, we're just barely staying out of sight, but basically on this little rock ledge. what we're walking up. Turn it around. See Clarence come up. This might be a frugal attempt. I don't know how close we're gonna get. I mean these rams are in a place that they can see everything. So, you're on up around the corner to the right there. So I'm going to try to walk this little sheep trail. See how far it takes me. I think it might take me that little green spot over on that hill over there. We'll see. Holy shit. That was a big ass rock let loose on me. So, we just came up off that mountain over there. We uh, was able to get a really nice, beautiful ram. It's on the back of next pack. Beautiful, pearl curl. Ram, just barely, but uh, really nice ram. Now, it's late. We got started really early this morning. And, uh, We, uh, I don't know, probably, we started about, what time we start? Around nine or so. Somewhere. Let me reach just a fucking thing. Alright, so, we started.
started about 9 a.m. And we've been all over this whole valley chasing these rams. They were hard to get to, but uh, just persistence. We finally had him down at uh, probably 6, 6.30. It's about 10 right now. And we've got a good half a mile with about half that uphill back to our tents and then the pack out to our base camp about I'm guessing five miles so we'll uh, keep you updated all right we're taking a break on our hike back to our satellite camp anybody got anything to say long walk <laughs> How does Kentucky boy think? Tired. <laughs> there you go, back camp. We're ready for a hot meal, a warm bed, and a little bit of rest. But I think we're probably gonna have some sore legs tomorrow. And then we've got to pack out of here with everything. Right now we've just got to sheep meat and the head and most of our just basic hunting gear. We got all our sleeping pads and sleeping banks and tents and all that kind of crap. Food. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be heavy. But forget about the bourbon. Well, you got that you got bourbon up there? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's probably not good. We're probably gonna have a celebration drink tonight. Kentucky boys don't go nowhere without bourbon. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. We'll update you when we get some bourbon. All right. Well, we just packed up our satellite camp. We've got a long pack back to the four-wheelers. Way down in that bottom over in between all them mountains over there. So... Nick's got most of our gear, a lot of our gear, uh, and a sheep head, and uh, whatever else he's got in there. Clarence got a whole, or half a sheep in his pack, and I got a half a sheep in my pack. And uh, here we go. Maybe I'll update you when we get down there. How heavy does that feel? Still heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy. All right. Go. One hell of a sheep trip. Yeah. Even with all the the meals that we've been eating, it's causing us to fart the whole time. We gotta smell that shit all night. No, I don't. But my uh, my sleep bag stinks. <laughs> I'm letting all that shit loose in there. I'm gonna have to wash everything. All right. One, two, three. Give a, your best smile. All right. All right.